343 brings back a playlist we haven't seen in six months. The meta might be shifting, according to a 343 dev. The September Tenrai event comes with some new content, which looks really exciting. So if you want to know everything, make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. It's the best way to stay in touch with Halo. So that mode that we haven't seen in Halo in six months is brought back. That mode being the combat workshop you can find it at the top of the playlist of workshop btb stockpile and within this it shows you the typical maps right here of deadlock fragmentation and high power surprisingly no breaker turns out the reason why breaker is not available within the stockpile playlist is because there's a significant bug with it and i spyful showcased this on his live stream what <laughs> yo what Oh my god, this is this is going to get Oh my goodness. So why bring stockpile back? It was the least liked mode pretty much in the entirety of Halo Infinite. I didn't really enjoy playing it. It seemed really disconnected and just kind of odd to play in the first place. The community as a whole didn't really enjoy the game mode. I think there's something there though. It's just that the way it was implemented at launch just wasn't really it. 343 recognized this and brought it back within the combat workshop. But what's different this time? Well, I'm glad you asked because when you check it out, what they did is that they reduced seed steal time so you can steal seeds faster less seeds needed to score so it's not so dragged out less seeds on the map so then it's just more about the action right and seeds are more scattered so it's not just in one pile at least hopefully and players can use equipment while holding the seed so it's a little faster pace i'm glad to see these changes because like the seeds were just like kind of like all over the place they were kind of in a pile and then people just kind of throw them around and it was just really disconnected and it felt like if you're just going to go to that pile of where the seeds are you're asking to be killed because of everything being so centralized in the one location where the objective is that if you're trying to play the objective, well, you're just going to get wrecked because grabbing a seed effectively just throws you out in the middle of everything. And it also takes you basically out of the battle because because you're so slow and you can't really use anything to get yourself moving around faster, hopefully be able to use equipment. Like say the grapple shot should help you out or a drop ball so you can throw a shield behind you so you at least make some progress forward with it we're definitely going to jump in and test to see how it actually plays out that's going to be in tomorrow's video while we're on the topic of playlists let's go into what else changed right now so right now husky raid was rotated out for the btb workshop so We'll be talking about Husky Raid a little bit later in this video. Social Slayer was rotated out for Social Objective. So all you people asking for an objective playlist, here you go. And it brings Neutral Flag into the game as well. So that's a nice little change of pace. For the Ranked Rotationals, Ranked Tactical Slayer was rotated out for Ranked Snipers. Which again, we'll have to cover in a video, especially with that change with the zoom mechanics available now for Legacy Zoom for the Sniper Rifle in Halo Infinite. I might actually play this mode now. Community Doubles was rotated out and Team doubles was rotated in, though 343 does state for the community maps that were involved with the Forge doubles, they have them in now with team doubles for Apostle, Immolate, Last Broadcast, and Suban. And lastly, Free For All Slayer was rotated out for Lone Wolves. A Husky Raid was a lot of fun to jump in and play. Personally, I kind of view it more as a rotational thing, like I'll hop in and play while it's a new cool thing, but then I'm not gonna really come back to play again like week after week. I know some people out there in the community are, and 343 asked that question about this. Talking about the viability of Husky Raid within the playlist here, Michael Shore, who's in charge of the playlist rotations here, says the Husky Raid playlist rotates out for a future date. It will come back. And then he asked, today's change is locked in, but when Husky Raid returns, where would you like to see it? He asked if you want to keep it as a rotational, a staple, maybe even merge it in with Super Fiesta or other. And though it does seem like most people are leaning towards with 39% saying keep it as a staple playlist, I'm thinking that's more just kind of like people going like, oh no, don't lose my content since it's been the biggest issue with Halo Infinite for the longest time. PTSD just kind of kicks in when you see something that you like getting removed out of the game. I would say that this poll is rather inconclusive of what 343 should do with Husky Raid, especially since it's so small only 2,000 people voted in this. Ideally, I think the best move for Husky Ray is to keep it as a rotational mode that comes in maybe like once a month or something like that or every other month. And then each time it does come in, 
there's a new set of maps for people to jump in and enjoy. Though if we're going to do that, it does seem like the current cadence of map rotations for Forge content coming in is eight weeks. At least that's what we've heard at the fastest rate. So if Husky Rate comes back in every two months with a whole new set of maps, I'm actually kind of down with that rather than have it be a staple thing or rotate it into options where it just seems like a regular thing. And I don't really like the idea of it being merged into Super Fiesta. When I think of Super Fiesta, I think of just playing Slayer with crazy weapons, right? Sometimes with these mixed type of playlists that if a mode comes up that people don't really want to play, they just back out and it just creates a big issue. Especially since a mode like Slayer Fiesta plays very differently than Capture the Flag Fiesta, effectively what Husky Raid is. They are two different styles of gameplay that can be enjoyed separately. And even though they still utilize the same ingredients, it just feels different. And 343 was busy today on Twitter because they did mention about the meta shift for Halo Infinite as in the most effective tactic available will be changing rather soon, especially with season five right here. Tashi, who is the head of HCS recently tweeted this out in a retweet talking about the changes that came today when it comes to the combat workshop and things like that. He tweeted out saying ranked snipers rotational is now live until season five launches where the meta will shift a bit with ranked. From last we saw, ranked is the most popular mode within Halo Infinite. And if that's going to be a big shift, what's going to happen with the meta? What's going to be changing with ranked? Well, I think what's going to be changing is that we'll be losing the battle rifle as a starting weapon and then the bandit rifle coming in. This has been a point of discussion within the Halo community ever since the bandit rifle has been available to be played with within the game. Many pros have voiced their opinions that the battle rifle is just too easy to use on these maps and the bandit rifle requires more skill. And I would honestly agree with that, saying that the bandit rifle is a much more difficult weapon to use than the battle rifle. But I really like playing with the battle rifle for ranked Halo. Call me a Halo 3 fanboy on that, but just like I feel like the battle rifle is the weapon to use when it comes to ranked play in Halo Infinite. The bandit rifle, while fine, it just feels like it doesn't really hit it as hard as the battle rifle does and maybe it's just me being bad at the game but i feel like a lot of times when i'm aiming with the bandit rifle and shooting at people sometimes it just feels like it just doesn't connect so i would say the margin of error is much higher with the bandit rifle than it is with the battle rifle and in the ranked experience you want skill to truly shine through and with how good the battle rifle is within Halo Infinite, it might make sense to switch over to the bandit rifle as it just requires a little bit more skill. But of course, once we get some more information on this meta shift, you know I'll share it with you guys. It looks like we have some new information about the next Tenrai event coming on September 19th here. 343 recently shared out this video on Twitter showcasing this, well, it looks to be a map, which is going to be very cool to see that this is going to be a map themed in the style of the event playable next week, most likely for Halo Infinite. I don't know why they would show this in any other way rather than just trying to maybe showcase some Japanese inspired vibes that would work with Tenrai. But my guess, this looks to be a Forge map that might be like a 24 seven type of playlist. You can jump in and play on this map specifically for the Tenrai event that will be starting on the 19th to get you more of your awesome little unlocks for your Yoroi core. And the event looks to last all the way to October 3rd. This post is from Halo.API. They do a great job of looking into the API to get some good information. But when you scroll down here a little bit, he does reply to a question about a Japanese themed map in balances, Japanese themed maps, shaking hands with super Husky Raid. So could we see Husky Raid just like come be gone one week and then come right back as super Husky Raid rather than, rather than just regular Fiesta Husky Raid? That would be kind of interesting. I doubt 343 would do that, but if they do, you know, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. 